What the Grizzlies? Nipper? When did that get here? Where's Gareth? Come on, Nipper. We better call Fireman Sam. Gareth is missing on the mountains in the storm. Gareth is missing on the mountains in the storm. Gareth was with the children. They must be up there too. We'd better take Sutton. for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. Okay, Phoenix. You can do this. Easy does it. Ah! Come on, Phoenix, let's get out of here. Penny. is ready to launch some, and I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam. Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. We're going to go outside and light a fire. Yes, that'll keep us nice and warm. A fire? Cool. Start collecting anything you think will burn. How about these wooden slats from the seats? <gasps> Brilliant. Your ukulele? No, not Marjorie. Marjorie stays with me. I, uh, I think we have enough now. Come on. Naughty sheep. I told you to pick Elvis. What are they doing here? Oh, Sam! Penny! I I promised to look after them for Norman. You can't keep sheep here, Elvis. What about Station Officer Steel? Oh, what am I going to do? You see, Dillis, Moose isn't the only one who knows about survival. We've run out of things to burn. We need to keep warm until help comes. I'll see what else is on the bus. Uh, here you go, Trevor. Burn this. Oh, thanks, Norman. Ah! Ah! The bus! We're on a lake. And the fire has made the ice crack. Get back, everyone! Get back! 
my precious picture of Norman was on that bus. Now we have nowhere to shelter and no fire. If Moose doesn't get help soon, we're in big trouble. Emergency. A uh, bus has gone off the road and we need help for fast. Great tangled hoses. Trevor's bus has gone off the road. Trevor's bus is in trouble. The passengers need our help. When's someone coming to rescue us, Dad? Very soon. Listen. They're coming! It's Fireman Sam! Elvis, make sure everyone is a safe distance away. Penny, you'll be ready in Jupiter. Everybody stand back. Activating winch. Penny, you might need to back up to help the winch. Right you are, Sam. Now, let's get some tea on and make sure everybody's nice and warm. Trevor, you saved it. Eh? Save what? My lovely picture. You knew how precious it was to me. Oh, Trevor, you're a real hero. I'd hate it to lose this. It's Norman as a baby. With no clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, Moose, well done for going out in that blizzard to fetch help. That was very plucky. Hey, what can I say, Trevor? Plucky is my middle name. I'm fine. Good job we've got some grit left, sir. Shaky, shaky, Sam. Shaky, shaky, Ellie. Ah! That's it. I'm not playing with you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin. Oh! <gasps> Listen to him, Pengy. Come on, we'll show them. No! But the... That's it. I've stood up for you. I told everyone you were a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. <laughs> Off the eyes, everyone! I can't! <gasps> I better call Fireman Sam! Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. I think we're okay. The ice is melting uh, and the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. I'll get Norman. Calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Oh! Ah! Now look what you've done. My human Sam can't reach me. Norman, use your penguin to skate to me. I didn't mean what I said, Pengy. You really are a super penguin. Now get me out of here! Come on, Norman. You can do it. Yes, 
Then we only need to use a small amount of spray, Elvis. Norman! Watch your big finish! No! You watch mine! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> oh! Can you show? Trevor, what's it like in there? Oh, it's getting very snug and warm in here. Why don't you take your scarf off, Trevor? <laughs> no. Help! Norman? Sarah and James are trapped on the lake and the ice is melting! I'll call Fireman Sam. And now it's time for the most totally brilliant piece of winter rescue equipment ever! Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake and the ice is melting. Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake. Don't worry, you two. Fireman Sam is on his way. Elvis, the bag. I'm so cold. Don't let go, James. This penny, it's an inflatable rescue path! Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! Tie it to the end of the jetty penny, then hold it steady. Sarah! James! It's okay! We're coming to get you! Done! It's going to sink! Don't panic! I'm here. Got you. Everyone, move to the back of the train and stay calm! Look out, Sam! Um, I'll get out your side, Sam. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. and can't get past the ice. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. On the line. I don't like out of control trains that are on fire. Do something, Normaxo! Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on my interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman. That's wrong. That's Ruby. Ding, ding, Norman, ding, this ding, isn't ding, the time. Shh, I'm on a call. 
flyers above the drain top. No worries, Sam. UFO! You have... Oh, aliens! Oh, Norman? Shh, I'm hiding from the aliens! Sorry, Sam. We'll have to head back to the rescue centre till this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow! Drop me off here, Tom. Strange. Did either of you see what happened to Mike? He went that way. He was being chased by a giant snowball. What? Mike could be down there, injured and freezing. We have to get to him, and fast. But that slope is too dangerous for Jupiter to drive down, Sam. You're right, Penny. Only one thing for it. I need a blanket, a rope, a warm drink, and your snowboard, Norman Price. Better than Billy Bob Blizzard! not hurt, but he's fallen into a pothole, so we're going to need Tom Thomas to winch him out. I'll put a call out straight away. Here comes Tom Thomas now. We'll have you out in no time, Mike.
Hello there, you two. What the grizzlies are you doing up here? Moose, we thought you were a polar bear. <laughs> a polar bear? Why would you think I was a polar bear? We were following some big footprints in the snow and... Santa, look! Moose, it was your tracks we were following all along. I told you there weren't any polar bears in Ponty Pandy. <laughs> <laughs> Back in Canada, we always say, first rule of snow survival, loud noises cause avalanches. No problem. I'm sure I got a torch. Oh, no. I was charging the battery and I forgot to pick it up again. I've got an idea. Excellent survival skills, James. I'm really worried now, Charlie. I think the twins might have got lost in the snow. Right. Let's call Fireman Sam. Oh, what a marvellous conception. <laughs> oh, an emergency. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. This is just the job for Saturn. Sam, you take Mercury. Penny and Elvis, you go in Venus with Saturn. Keep in radio contact. Any sign, Elvis? Not yet, Sam. Uh, wait, what's that? That could be them, but there's three of them. Sam, I think I got them. There's a cave in the woods 100 metres east from where you are. Right you are, Elvis. James, Sarah. We're in here, Uncle Sam. Don't worry. I'll have you out in no time. It's a special camera that uses heat to find people. Wow! Penny, Elvis, Saturn's found them. Everyone's safe and sound. Are you sure that's a good idea? Of course, Mandy. The heat will melt all the ice and dry the scarf. Come on, let's go and play snowballs. How's the fire coming on there, Sam? Well, I've got a bit of flame going now, sir. I, I think we're on our way. Ah, now, what you have to do is give it a nice, smooth blow. That'll have it roaring away in no time. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't all that smooth, was it, sir? Yes, ah, oh, well, uh, maybe a tad on the blowy side. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, keep up the good work, Sam. Very good. Nearly there. Uh, Elvis! Penny! Come and see this! Ooh, that's lovely, Sam. Mm, I love the smell of a roaring fire. Fire. Uh, oh, no. Sorry, Sam. Stay still, Norman. I want to throw a snowball at you. Why would I stay still if I'm going to be hit by a snowball? Whoa! <laughs> you can't get me inside! <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> I think we'd better call Fireman Sam! 
There we go, all up and running. This place will be as warm as toast in no time. <laughs> Excellent work, Mike. Ooh, an emergency. A fire at the Flood's house. Oh, there's a fire at the Flood's house. Oh, the fire at the Flood's house. Wait a minute, that's where I live. You're all right. Shut the gas off, Elvis. What happened? What were you cooking? Um, Norman's mum's scarf. Oh, I think it might be a bit overdone. I'm in such a lot of trouble. No change there, then, Norman. A toboggan ride down a steep slope will make my actors look really frightened and make my movie really scary. OK, actors! Get on the toboggan! We can hear you. You'll slide down this, um, gentle slope and I'll follow behind, filming you so it will look like the monster is chasing you down the mountain. But Uncle Sam told us not to go past those boundary ropes, Norman. Action! Norman, Sarah and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. Norman, Sarah and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. We're on our way, sir. OK, everyone. Now it's time to ski. Uh. Ah! We'll zigzag back and forth across the avalanche zone, just like we practised. Listen out for your transceiver, and when it beeps louder, the kids are close by. It's beeping louder, Sam. We're getting close. Hello, Sarah, Mandy. Hello, Uncle Sam. They're trapped in the hut. Great snowplow, Elvis. Huh? I got it! Oh, thanks, Penny! <laughs> Woo -hoo! You're safe now. Thanks, Uncle Sam. You really shouldn't have gone beyond the boundary ropes. They're there to protect you from danger. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to make a really scary movie. Well, Norman, you might have made it a little too scary. <gasps> Maybe I did. 